I need to take a, let's take a step back here. Maybe I'm just looking at a bad bunch of reactions to the Super Hulak community. I mean, they can't be, they can't be that fucking awful, can they? But I'm, I'm noticing a theme that the Super Hulak fandom is fucking psychotic. But where are they getting that from? Oh, uh, you know what? I bet it was this. This single solitary gif from fucking Madden Generator that drove their community insane. Has to be. I mean, if you visit this amazing fucking Tumblr, Doctor Who and its fans suck, fuck Doctor Who and Sherlock, you find a interesting little piece of Super Hulak history. Now, scrolling down it, it doesn't look like anything special. That is until you get to the very end and you read the reactions that this got. Yeah, that's right. That's not a misprint. That's 536,384 notes. Half a million people reacted to a John Madden gif that was talking shit about Super Hulak. Let's, uh, let's back it up a little. Let's take a look at some of the level-headed reactions that this gif got. Bitch, I will fucking cut you. Just try it, nerd. You've angered the wrong fandom. Shut up, nerd. You're going down, punk. Just you fucking wait. You will learn that this fandom is far worse than you will ever want to know. Oh, cool! And shy, but we're just being nice. <laughs> oh, man. I was just going through watching some old Mr. Medicare videos. Because, well, that guy's freaking hilarious. And then what do you know? Random shiny Marini. I was expecting a Corsola before this thing. But all right then. And I think today also marks the day that we actually ended up getting some sun and moon news. So, yeah. It's an interesting day to get this. Although I guess not just sun and moon, but rather ultra sun and ultra moon. I hadn't heard anything about it before. Well, now. Anyway. I guess it's time I actually get a strategy going in order to actually catch this. And at the exact same time, we'll figure out what kind of ability it's got. Because I think Regenerator is its hidden ability, so if it ended up getting that, that's going to be quite interesting. It actually got Regenerator, too. <laughs> okay, that that's an interesting Marini, then. Because I think it's only like a 15% chance that it could ever get Regenerator. Um, now... I think this thing has a chance of actually holding an item, so... I'm going to switch out to something else that's holding a Lepa Berry rather than using Bestow on it. I can't remember exactly what kind of item it holds, but maybe I'll figure out what that item is. Oh, I guess it wasn't holding an item. I could have bestowed the Lepaberry from that Exeggutor, but oh well. I think I'm just about ready to start just chucking my beast balls at this thing. Because, well, I might as well do that. Considering how legendaries are shiny locked in this game, and I really hope that changes in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but I have no faith in that actually happening. Last time I got faith in something like that happening was... The release of these two games actually and it didn't happen so not hold my breath on that it'd be cool to actually soft reset for some like freaking shiny lunala it looks pretty dang cool but nope that's just not even obtainable even though it very well could be obtainable if they were actually smart about not doing the shiny locks when they don't have to but enough about that i'll just keep chucking some balls at this thing and we'll see how long it takes me i guess 
Actually, why am, why am I going through that menu when I could just go through this quick menu? I always keep forgetting that that's there. Anyway, where's the beast ball in this menu? I've got so many freaking balls. Okay. 123 of these things. Let's see how long it takes. There's one. Two. Oh, I thought I was going to get it right there. Oh, well. I got a crap ton more of these where they came from. Okay. Still taking forever. Actually, I don't, I don't even know why I'm saying it's taking forever. I only checked three of these balls. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad. I was expecting that to take a lot longer, considering the Magby I tried to catch a while ago. That took a whole 30 minutes just to even get that one caught. You know what? Considering I was listening to Mr. Medicare while catching this, wouldn't it make sense that there's a Mrs. Medicare somewhere? I don't know. Okay, that does fit. I was... I was wondering if that would fit. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't even think that would... even work as a name. Let's see, did I increment that counter before actually... Yeah, let's see. Okay, so that would have been 184 encounters instead of uh, what I had initially. Now, what's the nature on this? Bold, it looks like. Okay, yeah, it is bold. I was trying to sink for sassy, but at the exact same time, bold works. I will not complain about a bold nature because, well, you really do not need any sort of attack on this thing at all, considering it's not really offensive. Actually, what the heck am I doing? I should be going to a Pokemon Center or something. Try to see what kind of stats this thing got. So from what I'm seeing, Bold and Regenerator. What a good shiny. That's all I gotta say. Freaking amazing, this thing. Now I guess I should be checking Ivy's. HP, Attack, Special Defense, and Speed. Don't know why it has Perfect in Attack, but... Hey, HP and special defense at least aren't bad. Hyper train that defense, and even if I don't hyper train it, it's still going to be a pretty dang good defense stat. Overall, can't really complain about this too much. I'm just surprised it managed to get a 15% chance for Regenerator on top of the already low chance of a Marini even appearing in that dang spot. Like, jeez, I, I cannot get over that. 